what I would say to people who, who, who have kind of trepidation of speaking their truth is, okay, um, so people laugh at you. Yeah. Why do, why do they laugh at you? Because they don't respect my right to have a different view from them. Absolutely. So why are you worried what people like that think of you? <laughs> what, what's it matter? And the other thing is that, as I know this from long experience, they'll be thinking something else tomorrow. Um, and so many people now are coming to my information because of what I've said before that is now playing out in, 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 in the daily world. Now, if I had have let the fear of ridicule shut me up all those years ago, I'd have never have written those books. I'd have never have said those things. And then people would not be able to say now, hey, hold on, say, did that bloke say this was going to happen? Um, and the, there's a, the thing I, um, a, a phrase I, 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 I say to people a lot is that you can't unhear something. So when you speak your truth and people go, load of rubbish, you're mad, but they can't unhear what you have said. And if what you have said has any validity, it will eventually be shown to be so by things playing out as you said they will. This is what has happened to me. Uh, but unless you speak your truth and accept that, you know, people are going to dismiss it and ridicule it, though not so much now because it's playing out in the television news, um, then they're going to have nothing to hear that they can't later not unhear and therefore see that the, the two go together and what was said is actually what's happening. So I have to look at this a bit more seriously now. Um, it, it's, it's so important that we speak our truth. And you know, if a family don't like it, well, hold on a second. Why do you have a problem with my speaking my truth, even though it's different to yours? I mean, why don't you respect my right to be what I am? Same with other people. And, you know, we, we think all the time that we're, when we say something about someone, we are making a statement about them. But all the time when we're making statements about others, we're actually making a massive statement about ourselves and our own state of being that makes us make that statement about someone else. And so those people that just laugh and ridicule and don't respect someone else's right to be different, well, they're just making a statement about themselves, not the person that they're targeting. It's, um, it's very important that we don't concede to uh, the fear of what other people think of us. Because if we do, and the vast majority of people in the world do, we are no longer from that moment on living our own lives. We're not living our own truth. We're not living our own uh, genuineness. We're living someone else's version of what we should be. Now, if you want to be that, that's fair enough. I respect that. It's your choice. Just don't tell me how I'm going to live my life and what I'm going to think and what I'm going to say. Um, I, because you've crossed my line when you do that. Um, and it's this fear of what other people think that makes people conform to very narrow uh, boxes which they don't even believe in, but they stay in them so that they, they are within... Uh, they are accepted by people around them. If people around me can't accept me because I'm different, well, I, I don't want them around me. Thank you very much. Bye.